Welcome to this uh, video where I wanted to show you how easy it is to use Poly Studio USB in combination with Microsoft Teams. And I'm using this uh, here in a sort of hurdle space. So I have a screen with an HDMI cable which we'll use on the laptop to share the screen and the studio will have this USB cable. And I will show you how easy it is to, uh, to hook that up in the Microsoft Teams client. So let me show you. So first of all you grab the HDMI cable from the table and put that in the HDMI output of the laptop. The next step is to grab the USB-A cable coming from the studio. Of course if you have a MacBook and uh, this can be USB-C just depending on the devices uh, you use in the office. So use this cable and put this in a free slot. Now if everything is set up correctly you should see your presentation uh, on the screen. And the next step we'll need to do is check the Microsoft Teams client to check if all these settings are correctly. So what we do is we open up the Microsoft Teams client here. Here you go. Make sure we set it to full screen. Now on the right side, all the way under your profile, you see an option settings. So you click on that. This will open up a second screen. And here you find the options devices. So if you click on that, you see your audio devices. And just make sure that it says here as the speaker studio, microphone studio, and as you can see, the camera is also set to the studio. Now, let's show you in a meeting. Here you go. As you can see, the Poly Studio USB is now the preferred audio and uh, a video device. And now let me join my meeting. And here you go, we're ready to, uh, to use all the features, speaker track or group track functionality from the studio here in combination with Microsoft Teams.